So solve for C, F equals 9 fifths C plus 32. So we're solving for C, we're getting C in its own. There's a couple of things being done to C. It's been multiplied by 9 fifths, and then 32 has been added on. It's usually good to undo the last operation to begin with. So like, let's get rid of that 32 first, right? Because what we're looking for is C all on its own equals something, right? So how about we subtract 32 from both sides? And on the left, we have F minus 32 equals 9 over 5 times C. Okay with that? Okay. And um, actually, let me just grab some paper. Put it over here. So what we want to do now, actually, is undo multiplying by 9 fifths. And there's a pretty cool way of doing that, which is just you multiply by 5 ninths, the reciprocal. Because if you multiply by 5 ninths, that's going to become a 1, isn't it? Because, you see, these 5s will cross-cancel, and these 9s will cross-cancel. So you'll just get 1C or C. Does that make sense? So, but we've got to multiply all of this by 5 ninths, not just the F, not just the 32, but everything. So we can go 5 over 9 times that equals C. So just writing it out, it's just 5 ninths times F minus 32 equals C, 1C or just C. Now... Is that okay, or do, should we ex have a little example of something else in there? Or? Yeah, so the answer is just 5 ninths. Times F minus 32. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 